Alrighty, so this is all my stuff. This is all camping stuff, and believe it or not, a lot of this was in the old SUV. So I have to go through all this until I find the netting for the window coverings right here. Now I'm hoping that the ones for my SUV will fit over these windows. If not, I have to order special ones, and I really don't like that. So I'm gonna go all through that, so wish me luck, and I'll be back in a few. I found one. Now this is a really big window, so I can't even imagine that this is gonna fit. And if it doesn't, so be it. No, it's not gonna fit, I can already tell. But let's give it a shot. Not even close. Okay. All right. So that's okay. So now I'm going to have to order two of these for the front because I really need that ventilation. So I'll go order them on Amazon right now. Just another thing I have to order. What do we have here? Amazon. Now I do not have one of those sunglass holders um, that you pull down and put your sunglasses in. I had one in the other SUV, but I don't have one in the van, so there's nothing here. So I ordered these really cool clips to put on right here. So let's open that real quick. I can show you a picture, but I went ahead and ordered two. So let me go open this up. Okay, I th we're going to put it on the outside. Okay, let's put it on the outside. There we go. And this goes down. And I would put my reading glasses up here. Let's do them this way. <gasps> there, guys, look. Cool. I like it. And I brought it, I bought another one for that side. So I have to move the tissue thing over a little bit. And that way I'll have my reading glasses up here because I'm always looking for them. I always lose them. I can have 10 pair. I buy so many of them and I still lose them. Okay. I like it. All right. Next. So this is the sliding glass door behind the driver's seat. And I need to get this panel off because I need to put the sound barrier behind this panel. And then I also have to put insulation. So I'm going to see, attempt here to... I'm going to attempt to take these things off. I hope they're easy. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're so easy. Okay, good. Let's look down there and see what's down there. Oh my God, there's insulation down there. Okay. I'm scared there's gonna be a, a spider's nest in here or something. Oh, okay. Let's see what's behind. That's it. Huh. So what is this? Oh, wow. I'm glad they insulated it well. 
All right, we're going to take that off. A styrofoam. Okay, so that is insulation also. Okay. Should I put my own on? Hmm. Okay, let me think about this. I'll be right back. So look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I don't know what kind of insulation that is, but I'm not going to keep it. Um, I'm going to put my own in. So we're going to get rid of this. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have touched that. Uh-oh. That's the door. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to put something in there. Something, a panel or something. That's got to stay there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get some uh, insulation to put in there. Patch that hole up. I should not have taken that off. That should stay on. Maybe I'll put just a little piece of insulate or sound barrier right there. Yeah, yeah, and a little piece right there. All right. Okay, because of the insulation, and I'm sure it's fine, I'm starting to itch. I'll be right back. Now, I have no clue if this is going to make a difference putting this in the door, but I figure since I have so much of this left, I'm going to go ahead and put this little piece here. I mean, it can't hurt. took a tiny break from the van to work on my mom's car. She has an SUV exact same year as my other one. So I went ahead and put these roof racks on for her. Aren't they cool? Crossbars. I'm sorry, crossbars. So look how good those crossbars look. Nice. All right, back to the van. So I went through all this to find these that a viewer t reminded me about. I forgot that I even had these. So I am having storage issues in the front. I have this tiny little pocket here, but um, what, I don't know what the heck this is for. So I needed some more storage in the middle. So she reminded me, I think she was a she, that they make the spacers in between the seats and the console. So I went hunting for them and I found them. So this one I'm going to use on this side like that. It's hitting something right there. All right, let's go out a little bit. Oh, perfect, perfect. So this is going to hold and it falls right through. Okay. That wasn't good. I'll put it back. I have uh, my Anastasia State Park. It's one of my favorite parks. I love that park so much. And my Smoothie King menu because there's a uh, paleo uh, smoothie that I get there. So I like to have my menu because I always forget. Tell them. And then, of course, my fast food, carb, calorie, and fat counter. So I'm going to put this back in because this is what divides it. Now, if I have some change or something, I'll be able to just throw it in these holes right here. So this added just a little bit more storage. And we're going to put that right there. Now this one, the other one, won't fit. Because I have the brake right there. And, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm wrong. I lied. I lied. Let me see if the brake works, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this will probably move in and out. This will drive me nuts. So at least I have one here. So this can be like, here's my, um, my mic. And you're thinking, Mike, you don't even use a mic, Kim. We've been telling you to use a mic for years. And you, what do you mean you have a mic? I know, I know. So I have a mic and I'll keep the mic in here too. And I will, I'm going to start using that. And then here is, this is for music. This is really good music. It's from my son. He has some kick-ass shit on. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. There's some really good tunes on here. So I'll, I'll keep that in there, too. 
And so I now, let's, let's move the trash. Let's move the trash over. So now look, look, I have a nice little cubby hole that I can put stuff. So see how easy that was? And then I put this, I put this back in this little hole right here just to hold some stuff. And of course I have to have a back scratcher. Actually, I need a couple more in here because I need one while I drive while I sleep. And then, you yeah, know, you never know. So I have a little thing, cubby hole right here, which is always, and I don't know what this is yet. I have to see, I'm going to take this off. This actually might be a DC bolt. I don't know. So that's it, guys. Okay. Next. So I once again ordered from Living in a Bubble. I'm very happy with the gigantic bug screen for the back of the van. So I went ahead and ordered the two bug screens for the front and the driver and the passenger windows. So I can have air coming through at night. So let's see what's in the box real quick. Ah, look at that. Adorable little keychain. They come. This is what's cool. They come packed in here, and I love this that I can keep these like this in the van. Because my other ones I would roll up in a ball. Okay. So let's go see how these fit on the windows. Okay, so there is a right and a left. this up they go on the outside like this so this pointy end goes in here the magnets are all along the bottom here so these go like this There's a hole here that you put through the mirror. Now this is the part, it doesn't seem to be working. This part right here. So, so where it doesn't fit is right here. It doesn't come all the way over. So I'll go ahead and check the instructions and see. Maybe it's not supposed to. Maybe it's because there's a, look, there's a window here, so it doesn't need to cover that. But it covers this. And I'm looking down there to see. Nothing can get in. Okay, so I redid it to make everything go on the other side and, and it looks great on the other side but I don't know what the hell this is I don't know what that is it's supposed to wrap around this but it's not going to so this is pretty strong I can't really see where anything's going to get in I really do like the one the other ones better that just go over the entire window hmm all right, I'm gonna go watch some videos and check this out and we're gonna call it a day. Um, I have a Ford Transit Connect. This is not a Ford Transit. So maybe uh, I did order it, they said it fit the Connect. So we'll see, I'm gonna go watch some videos and if you guys have one of these, let me know. Um, all right. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So this is it, man, I'm done today. I've done, a, I've done a lot, so I'm not going to do any more, and I will see you guys in the next video. In the meantime, I'm going to figure out this, this craziness here, this craziness. All right, guys. Bye.